Why hello there ladies and gentlemen. Legend Commentaries bringing you today some live com action in Star Wars Real Republic. Bam! User interface. Thought the uh, dramatic opening was, was quite effective. Uh, I wanted to introduce this whole new idea of making a high level let's play that does not start at a low level. Uh, the low level stuff I'm sure all of you have been able to see and all of you have been able to experience through YouTube or if you haven't you can certainly go and find that in many places. Uh, so I'm going to start here, level 44, and what I'm hoping to do is make these videos about 10 minutes long each, and uh, I'll post them one at a time over, you know, whenever I feel like it, every other day or every couple of days, and hopefully we will get all the way to level 50 together, and you'll be able to see the progression and see some of the end game planets. This is my ship, this is the Imperial Agent ship, I am playing a sniper. If you haven't watched my two previous videos where I explain the basics of some of the stuff that I do, you might want to go back and check those out. Uh, that includes crew skills, which you can see my busy bees are currently working on, and also the basics of my class. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through my ship really quick before we head to Voss, because as you can see in my missions, that is where I need to go for all of these. Uh, I'm going to actually close that down. Actually, we could go do a, nah, we'll do a companion mission later. PvP, no, and that is also on Voss. So, uh, what we're going to do is just go through my ship really quick. This is Ensign Temple. She is a light side companion, the only one that this, the Imperial Agent actually gets. Um, she wants your body, and uh, I will probably tap that. Uh, going on here, these are my quarters. Ah, spacious, evil, red glow, beautiful. Um, we have Dr. Loken over here. He is my healer companion. If you remember uh, Star Wars uh, Knights of the Old Republic, you'll remember that Rack Ghouls were a big part of the Terrace missions. And you actually find him on Terrace, and he can transform into a Rack Ghoul. It is, it is intense, and he can do DPS, but mostly heals is what I have him geared for. Uh, moving on, this is our little calm room here in the ship with our intercom where we can talk to people between missions. And down our main, that's my little hollow terminal where you talk to people for your main class missions. I applied a fresh coat of paint to your quarters. The same color, of course, only fresher. Oh, why, thank you, 2VRA. You're so kind. That's my, uh, my bitch robot. He does whatever I want. Talks about rubbing my feet and uh, sexual favors and whatnot. Here's Kaleo, your very first companion. I have her semi-geared. I don't really use her that much because I'm obsessed with, well, I'll show you her in a second. Uh, but here's Kaleo, she's another evil companion, as is Dr. Loken. Um, here's a little, all my companion members room. And the next one, that your second companion that you get, besides your droid, is Vector. He's a little alien man. He is joined with Hive, so he talks in, in the, uh, I keep wanting to say Nosotros form. He talks like he is a part of everything, so he's like, you know, we do this, we accept the mission, we will, we will do that. Appreciate your Look at that, I could have just clicked him. Um, he is a DPS melee character with some spells. And where is she? There she is, Scorpio, my favorite. She's a freaking robot. You may leave. Yeah, I, I can. Look at those things. Um, yeah, so she is my robot companion. I got her a few missions ago, and as you can see, I maxed her out to 10k affection because I am just obsessed with her. She is the best companion. I think in the game, just because that's kind of like my kind of companion, the robot, the subservient uh, robot combat droid, she's a melee DPS. Um, so anyways, we're going to go back to the helm and we're going to fly on out of here. I'm currently residing at the Imperial Fleet. I don't know how long this has gone on for so far, let me check that. Four minutes, okay, so we got a little bit of time left, actually six minutes left. That should give us enough time to travel on while I discuss some things with you all. I think Voss is actually up here. Nope, wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. In this one. Aha! Here we are. And I'll probably actually post this initial 10 minute video a little earlier than uh, the rest of them. Goodbye, Imperial Fleet. Ooh. Look at it. So majestic. There's Voss. Uh, anyways, I'll probably post this earlier before I record any of the other parts, or before I post them. So that you guys can kind of... Oh, shut up. So that you guys can kind of let me know... Alright, you serious, bro? I'm gonna get you killed in combat. I'm gonna summon you and you're gonna get killed. But anyhow, uh, I'm gonna post this one a little bit earlier than the rest of them. Let you guys give me some feedback on how the sound is. 
I know that at some points like that in the cinematics it's going to be really loud, but uh, hopefully it'll be okay. I've kind of made it so that the game volume and the in-game effects are at a medium volume so that you can hear my voice over it. I've also increased the volume of my microphone so that hopefully the problem that you saw in the last video will not be present any longer. Uh, so it should improve the overall effect of my videos. And uh, here's the loading screen. I actually purchased a solid state drive. I just have no idea how to set it up yet. I'm going to put my operating system and Switor on it. And I need to call some kind of Indian in, in, uh, in India, of course, to give me some instructions on how to do that. I found that if I just click all over the screen, sometimes it'll make it load faster. But uh, yeah, not having any of that today. Funny story, by the way. Uh, today I woke up and I was getting on my computer and putting up some stuff on the Galactic Trade Network, which is the equivalent of the auction house for Star Wars Yoda Public. And it turned out that uh, I got into Newegg.com somehow after I was, you know, waiting for my auctions to go up and everything. And I was looking up RAM because my computer hadn't been running really quickly, you know. And I'm I'm used to this kind of uh, this kind of FPS when I'm playing the game simply because. Let's see if I can turn down that ambient. Master, you guys probably don't want to hear it anyways. Um, anyways, I was looking on Newegg because I hadn't been getting like 60 FPS, and uh, I found some RAM. I was going to get two 8 gig sticks and just make it so that I had, uh, you know, 16 gigs of total RAM because I wanted it to be faster. So I go onto this compatibility website and run a scan on my computer to see whether I could run it, and it turns out I didn't have one of my RAM. Uh, modules plugged in correctly so I was only getting four gigs out of my eight so that explained my whole problem I was getting a little bit frustrated because I had just purchased new RAM that was gaming RAM and now it's beautiful I can record videos with the greatest of ease um, this is kind of a long commute which actually is present on a lot of the worlds you have to go to the space station and then to a shuttle and then you have to go to the world here so as you can see the artwork is absolutely gorgeous I love it love it love it Let's check where we need to go here. we still got about uh, three minutes left in this recording. I'm just going to fly out of here, it looks like. Uh, there's my trainer. But I am not going to purchase any more skills until I get 210k. I found that I actually don't really have that big of a credit base. Uh, I'm thinking that I'm going to experiment with some new you know, crafting skills on other companions and see what works a little bit better. There we are, we'll fly off to here. Doesn't this look goofy? <laughs> looks a little clumsy. Just doesn't look very... uh sleek and Star Wars-y, but I suppose this is uh, hypothetically the new race. They didn't even have space travel when they came here is what the story is. Um, but anyhow, this is the artwork, all that wonderful, beautiful things that uh, that you see around you. And like I was saying, I'm waiting until I have 210,000 credits. Credits are fairly easy to come by. Uh, I'll show you when I get some crafting skills back. Uh, right now I'm actually leveling up treasure hunting which doesn't give you a whole lot of credits, but I'm also leveling up slicing. Um, have that maxed at 400, so I get quite a bit of credits from that. Uh, hoping to get there fairly soon. And then I can purchase my rank 2 speeder piloting, which allows me to use something other than this long spur STAP. This increases your movement speed by 90%, the rank 2 increases it by 100%, and then the rank 3, which you get at level 50, increases it by... 110%. Uh, and at rank 3 you can actually use these gigantic like speeder cars. They look like shuttles almost. Not like this kind of shuttle. Like a car shuttle that you can see on some of the other planets that I have not yet introduced. Check my mail before I head out here. Got one. I just put up some auctions. Someone's whistling out there. 2160. Alright. Getting closer. Getting closer. Uh, but yeah, this is the speeder bike. That's what you get when you're uh, when you reach level 40. You can actually purchase that. But I've been trying to get my skills up and everything. Level those up in accordance with uh, my level so that I don't get fall behind on trying to kill mobs and whatnot. So let's see, I need to go all the way up here and I have a quest there to turn into and I also have a heroic quest. So we can see if we can find a group for that. What is this? Ancient Guardians? Uh, as it turns out there is not a looking for group option in this game. Uh, it's kind of depressing, actually. It, you can have this little feature where you turn on a looking for group. How do you do it again? Oh, yeah, looking for a group. There we go. Um, and, you know, we're both looking for a group. He was looking for Colicoid War Games, so that's an instance, actually, a flashpoint, if you will. Now, there's some crafting stuff over here. Electrum Cache. 
There we go. Oh, is there? Are you looking for a group channel now? There we are. Looking for group does not exist or is not online. I think someone's a liar. I forgot to pull out my companion, but as you can see, it doesn't really matter. I am quite squishy, though, so we'll see here. Oh, goodness. I might have to use a health pack here, ladies and gentlemen. Let me just uh, pop that real quick. Bam. That's how I roll. This is intense right here. You guys are not even expecting this kind of madness. No. You better not kill me. You better not kill me. Mm. Get destroyed. How's that for a... Oh, yeah, you're a little late. You're a little late. Well, someone Cor Scorpio here. There we go. That was intense. I like it. I like it. What a way to start off a, uh, a commentary there. I was getting a little nervous. I was going to get stomped in front of you guys. So off we go. Killed that little camp and almost forgot to collect my scavenging... Of course it's bugged. That's awesome. I love it. Uh, let's see. Chat settings. General. Yeah, there's definitely no looking for group chat. So that's a funny joke. Um, you'll see two experience bars down in the bottom here. That is my experience for levels, which is uh, this number you'll see right here. The maximum level is 50. Then you also have legacy levels. I am the Von Vigar legacy. I took the advice of all of you who were saying to do that in chat, and uh, I'm liking it. I'm liking it, not going to lie. So I'm going to stick with that. Basically, legacy points are coming soon. You'll get some kind of feature. I don't know what it's going to be. I've heard that you'll get you know additional experience. My apologies for anyone talking in the background. I have headset on. I have a headset on, rather. So I can't really hear them, but I can kind of hear, you know, the vibrations of voices. So I apologize if my thin walls do not suffice for your your listening pleasure. Oh, I am satisfied. Thank you, Dr. Logan. You're such a sweetheart. Oh, yes. So I take that, and then I just send him send him off again. This is how you craft in Star Wars World Republic. Quite silly, if you ask me. I, I love how easy it is. I will, sir. Um, there isn't a creature alive that can take me. I like it. Sure enough. Uh, these are the creatures that live on this planet. Glowy eyes and blue skin with all kinds of tattooy looking things. Jeez, Scorpio, you scared me. You scared me there. Oh, oh my. Gave me quite a fright. Um, where do I need to go? Up here? Looks like there's some kind of objective. I can probably, oh, you're, uh, you're aggroed. I'm just going to run on by you. And yeah, maybe I can, oi, yep, there we go. So what is this here? I'll just do that while they're doing that. <laughs> and what is this garbage? Defeat Gormac Monstrosities. Well, I suppose I can start on that one. Finish that, oh, God, don't aggro, okay. Uh, so Scorpio kind of plays the tank uh, badass role. She does all kinds of silly things. And it's kind of weird when they're in their little defensive mode. I think I need to turn the volume down more. Let's do that. There we go. Uh, but anyways, when they're in their defensive mode, they'll only attack once the enemy attacks you. So if I, for instance, started attacking one of these monstrosities, then she would not attack until it hits me. And, you know, it's kind of... Kind of inconvenient because she does have a jump ability. New mail again. Wow. Popular. With the auction house members. Well, I'm at the location. I don't see any Gormax. Someone must have just killed them. So we'll go on to my other objective. Um, in this game, there are several ways to gain experience. Also, one of them, like I had said, is through crafting. Uh, you gain crafting, well, crafting uh, treasure hunting. Not any other kind, really. Um, because when you craft through treasure hunting, you get these gifts or gift fragments. There's technology, uh, and if your companion likes technology, you give that to them, and an epic technology rank 5 like that will give them generally 500 affection, and to give you a scale of what that really means, 500 affection uh, in relation to a conversation item, if you say something in a conversation that your companions like, then that will generally give them about uh, 15 affection I'll say. It varies on which companion you have because it does increase as the game goes on. But generally you can say you give it about 15 affection. And what affection does is 
it will allow your companions to have a higher chance of coming back with epic drops on their quests. So if you send them off to treasure hunt, uh, because he was a highly affected person, so he had almost 7k affection, he came back with that epic item like I had said. Uh, so if he had not had that much affection, he may have just come back with some of those blue shards, uh, because like Dr. Loken that you saw there for a second, he has significantly more, so he would come back with an epic drop, but uh, Ensign would come back with significantly lower quality drops. It just increases their critical chance. Uh, here's one of the world objects you can slice. Let's just see that here. I get a credit case, 1500 credits. So uh, it's a good skill to have for the environment around you, as well as for crafting, because the missions do cost money, but you get more credits in return than you have to send them on. So it balances out in the end. Oh god, alright, whatever, I'll kill you guys. Uh, I gotta say, the combat does not make me as angry as something like uh, WoW. You know, World of Warcraft, I played that for a while, and the combat would, was kind of annoying. You know, it's one of those things where if you get aggroed, you know, in Stranglethorn Vale by like a panther, you'd be like, oh god, I have to kill another one. But here, it's not as bad. Your companion makes it better. Uh, you take things on in groups all the time. There is no single mob killing. They wanted to make you feel very heroic, and they did. It, it has done its job, definitely. Um, so they make you take on multiple enemies at one time, or take on these strong monsters. Um, let's, let's see, the silver little star, the silver emblem, I'll call it. Right here, I'm not really using a rotation, I'm just kind of spamming snipe because I'm talking and I can't concentrate. Uh, but anyways, the silver star is a moderately strong enemy. You'll have gold stars, which are basically elites, and then you'll have gold and silver stars. It'll be kind of a gold portrait with a uh, yellow background. Those are bosses and they are very difficult to defeat. Uh, generally I lose my companion when I do that because I am a sniper and they are not the most tanky despite what I would like to have them as. Uh, one little bug you can take advantage of as well if you're playing this game if you do not know is uh, Scorpio is about half health so I'm gonna go ahead and mount up as soon as I come out of it full health. It's kinda silly but I won't complain because it does help to speed up questing a little bit. So, let's see, what else do I need to do? I need to kill two more of those. See them? I see them. They are in my sights. And there's my last objective over there. Let's do that, that, that. And also, uh, let me know if you guys played World of Warcraft or any kind of uh, MMO like that. How do you map your keys? Because I know that you're supposed to map them so that you can hit them all without ever clicking. And you know, I know I sound like a noob right now, but I never did any raiding in World of Warcraft. And I do plan on doing operations in this game once I hit 50. So, oh god, it's been 18 minutes, guys. I just completely lost track of time. Well, this episode's going to be 20 minutes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and call it short after I destroy this listening post here. But I gave you a, uh, I gave you a lot of Swator knowledge today, so hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you like this kind of live commentary format. Um, I will be bringing you some League of Legends hopefully as well. I'm going to log off for a little while after this, or maybe I'll keep going, I don't know, I don't know. But uh, nonetheless, I'm going to stop the recording and probably go ahead and edit this out and let you guys tell me what you think about the quality of the audio and such. Uh, please, like I had said in my last vlog, leave me a comment about what you think about the, uh, the style of my videos and wh where you want to see it go in the future, and I'll be sure and try and bring you what you want. What is this garbage? Locate the tomb. I can I can complete that objective. Bam. Tomb located. Uh, but anyways, as always, love you guys. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you in the next segment of this live com. I'm going to stop right by this tree, and this tree is where you'll see me next time. Right here. I'm going to sit here. Let's sit. Crouch seductively. Hello, Scorpio. Just end with some cinematics here. Mouse droid, Scorpio. We'll see you next time, ladies and gentlemen. Remember to leave a comment about what you want to see in the future. If you like these, say so. If you want another game, I will try to provide it. And uh, I'll talk to you guys next time.